Thanks for checking in with us here at Mayport CNC Fisheries in Atlantic Beach. Today we're going to be cooking a little flounder fillet cut from a two to four pound domestic flounder, which is right here in the little bowl. It's going to be a skinless, boneless product. We're going to start to preheat the pan. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. And then we're going to season the fish with some salt and a little bit of black pepper. Flounder is a flat fish. When a flounder is born, it has an eye on each side of its head. And as the fish matures, slowly but surely, the eye from the left side or the right side goes to the top of the fish. So both eyes, when the fish is grown, have turned to the top of the head. A little pepper. A little bit of salt. Male flounder are the smaller of the two species. They grow an average of 10 to 12 inches at their largest, and the female grow up to 23 inches at their biggest. Flounder are graded in a size range of 1 to 2 pounds whole, 2 to 4 pounds whole, and 4 to 6 pounds whole. They also come in the round and they have the guts in them. They swim in the bottom of the ocean, so it's a bottom feeder fish. The bottom side of the fish is generally white, and the top side of the fish is darker. Depending on which region the fish is coming from, is what the color will look like on top. So it could be gray, it could be orange, it could be brown, depending on which kind of flounder it is. They also migrate from October to December. So the rest of the year they're in the river, and then when they migrate into the ocean, that's when they spawn. Flip it over here, it's nice golden brown. It's going to take about three minutes on each side to cook it. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown. And it ran out of things to say, but we're going to keep going. The weather's yep. beautiful outside here in Atlantic Beach today. We had a little thunderstorm just come through. And we're just cooking this away because it's going to take a little longer to cook than I thought. And it looks absolutely delicious. We're going to put a little pan on top of it here to speed up the cooking process. Turn it down a little bit so that we don't burn it inside here. Other products that we offer here at Mayport CNC, we have a full array of frozen products behind us, some fresh products. We've got some delicious Argentinian Royal Red Shrimp. They look not on special right now. Something else to find. Find the tack in there. We've also got something else a little different here. This is a very unique item. Scallops in the hack shell. Beautiful for an hors d'oeuvre. Beautiful for a little party, maybe a little sabi. Uh, wonderful stuff. Delicious. Fantastic. Now our fish is still cooking away over here. Looks like it's almost done. I'm going to turn it one more time here real quick. Oh, it looks delicious. You hear that hissing? That's what I love, the hissing. There's no oven door quacking back and forth. We've got some classic hissing right here going on. It's just the best way to cook. I'm going to add a little butter to the pan to make it hiss a little more. Oh, yeah. Love that hissing sound. Love it. Mm. Almost done. Get a little buttery flavor on it. Bada bing, bada bing. Uh, cook and sing. Bada bing. So after the fish is completely cooked, we're going to squeeze a little lemon juice, some capers, and a little butter, and top that right over the top of the fish with a little fresh parsley. Beautiful flounder. So we take a little more butter. Butter is best. Some capers. Fresh lemon juice. 
And a lot of people don't realize what capers are. I didn't for a long time, but they are, in fact, a flower bud. Interesting. And then we'll just put this right over it. And that looks very pretty today. Thank you for watching.